Once again, the nice thing about being on the record is people can't deny what you said. You can't deny what you said. Go back a week, look at my video that I put out that I, when I told you the Marines were training in California and the size of the Marine Corps units that were training, the way they were training, the area they were training in, I told you that the last time I saw that was right before the first Gulf War. And I told you that I believe the Marines were training for war with North Korea. Lo and behold, fast forward a week, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, which is the top general of the entire Marine Corps, told the Marines yesterday, prepare for war. The war is coming and get ready. And war is coming in the Pacific. War is coming with North Korea is what is going to happen. And there can be several things happen. The U.S. can bombard North Korea and North Korea can fold, which I doubt will happen. Or the U.S. can bombard North Korea and they in turn will launch all their millions of artillery shells towards South Korea potentially wiping out millions of people, including the 40 or 50,000 U.S. troops that are there. That's a very likely scenario. Another likely scenario is the North Korea Koreans launch nukes. If they can't reach the U.S. yet, launch them on Japan, launch them on Guam. Blame us for starting it. And when the fallout from the nukes starts hitting China and Russia, who do you think that China and Russia is going to attack next? They've been warning us not to get into it. And they may very well launch an attack on us. And that could be the end of the great whore of Babylon. That could be fulfilled scripture where the Bible says instantly the great whore is destroyed and is seen in flames from, from offshore by the sad nations who no longer will get the money from the great whore for buying their goods because we are a buying country. It used to be a selling country, exporting, we're an importing country now. As always, the Bible always matches up perfectly. This is what I'm trying to get at. Every single sign in the Bible that shows Christ is about to return is here right now. If you're not ready to go any second of any day, including Christians who are backslidden, believe what you want. I'm telling you what the Bible says. You have to repent. No question. Repentance is not works, by the way. It's repentance. We're not saved by works. Works can't keep us saved. I've got a prayer. I've got six vital next steps in the box below the video. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps as soon as possible because no one's guaranteed any more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. True Christians, your job is to witness and pray for the lost every night and day. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are great and look up, our different draweth nigh, we fly soon. May God bless you. Help me get the word out. And please wake up, people. Time is truly, truly short. Things are going to be happening so soon. Work can start today. It can start tomorrow, sometime next year. We don't know, but we know. We fly soon, and things are all lined up. Get ready and stay ready and share this. Bye.